Hello ladies and gents, this is Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials out there. Today I will show you in Photoshop how you will be able to import the raw files of your camera and export those files as JPEG, PSD or TIFFs but without even touching a button. The whole procedure is going to be automatic in Photoshop and I'm sure that after this video you will gain extra free time because I know so many people out there that they are opening the raw files one file at a time in Photoshop and export those files in JPEG. So this procedure, this slave procedure of one file at a time, it will be history after this video because I will show you the most powerful way of uh, making massive exports and edits inside Photoshop. So let's do it right away. I have a folder in my computer with the name of Coffee Shots. And in this folder, I have a raw folder with raw files in it. As you can see, I have raw files of uh, Coffee, one project that uh, I did two years ago. And as you can see, they are NEF files, which means that uh, these files are uh, photos that came from a Nikon camera. So the row in Nikon is called NEF. So I have uh, some files over here, 15 files, and I want to put them inside Photoshop and um, edit them and after export them in order to send some samples in my client. Of course, I cannot send him or here uh, the um, raw files because they open with Photoshop and of course they are huge and really heavy. So I need to make them JPEG. Check this out. I can go to Photoshop. Of course, you can do this even with ancient Photoshops. I go to File and then I go to Scripts and then I go to Image Processor. This little thing over here, this little script, as you can see, it's uh, in Photoshop many years now and uh, it helps us to do massive edits really fast. So I will click that and then it's going to open this beautiful window. From here, you, as you can see, we have one until four, let's say, options. The first option is uh, the selection of the source. So here I will select my folder, coffee shots and raw and I will hit the open button. And then I have the option to select the all subfolders included. So uh, if I have a folder with uh, many subfolders inside as uh, many, let's say projects, raw projects as folders, of course I can click that and the Photoshop will take care even the subfolders, and so I have to do only just the selection of the source. But in this scenario, I don't have a subfolder, so I don't really need to actually uh, include this uh, option in my selection. Then I have to select the location, and here I can save my JPEGs in the same location if I like, but I want to save it outside of this. So I will uh, go to the coffee shots outside of the row and I will select the open. Of course, you're free to save this in same location if you like. No problem. And then the option number three, let us uh, to create a new actually document, a new edited document of the raw file. So as you can see here, I can save this as JPEG quality five. And then the resize to fit, I can even change the dimensions of the photo. As you can see, I will uh, make my photograph really smaller at about uh, 1024 pixel wide and 768 of... Uh, actually, this is width and this is height, okay? Of course, you can change that in uh, whatever you like. And then the only thing that I have to do is run if you want, you can save this as PSD or TIFF. Of course, I will say I will convert the profile, the color profile of my photo to sRGB because uh, the intention of the sample photos is to be seen uh, through the monitor. So uh, this uh, sRGB color profile is for uh, monitors, let's say. 
And uh, in the option number four, I can even run an action. As you can see here, I can select a folder, an action folder, and then a specific action in order to run this action over the photo. So I can have uh, multiple, uh, you know, uh, good things uh, in the, fr from this image processor. Not only I can change the dimension and the file type, I can also run an action. If you want to put a watermark, let's say this is the spot you create an action and then this action will be uh, imported in every sample. Then I can use my uh, full name. As you can see, the Evan is the half name of Evangelos. This is my name and Vlasopoulos is my last name. So I will put this. Maybe I can just write Evan Vlasopoulos, let's say. And of course, I will include the ICC profile, the profile actually that uh, includes the shooting uh, details and uh, some other uh, as uh, details, let's say, and stuff uh, inside the metadata of, the, of each photograph. And I'm ready to rock and roll, my friends. I will just hit the run button. And now Photoshop will import each photo at a time. It will make, it, uh, it will make uh, them smaller and then it will uh, save them with quality 5. So smaller files and lower quality is a great sample for my client. And the better and the best actually thing for me is that uh, I will not be uh, making this uh, over and over again. Photoshop will do this for me. As you can see, it's a really fast procedure and my computer is a um, four years old computer. So you can realize what you can do with your uh, new computers, how fast this procedure will be. So in a matter of seconds, I will be okay. The whole procedure will be done and uh, I will be able to to see the new folder, the folder JPEG that uh, it will contain all my samples inside. So I think I'm uh, ready after this photo. Yes. And then I will go again to my coffee shots folder. And as you can see, I have a JPEG folder over here. I will open this and voila, I have samples as you can see smaller samples and lower quality samples ready to be sent off to my client is that wonderful or not i didn't do anything but running this wonderful script so file scripts image processor the most easy way of uh, making actually lower samples lower quality and size samples from your raw files I'm Evan, your friend in all creative programs. If you like my video, please like my work, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video to your other colleagues out there. So my friends, I will see you soon.